How's it going guys? Andrew here with Justified EDC and today I wanted to bring you a video on one of my favorite makers period. Uh, definitely my favorite Kydex maker and that is Offensive Industries. Um, mostly going to be talking about the sheaths today but also this brand new knife that the sheath is not only made by Offensive Industries but so is the blade itself which is new for those of you that have been following them for a while. So uh, just to get some stuff out of the way here, I'm going to start off with that, um, and then I will move on to talking about just sheaths in general. Uh, these are just some stuff I have sat off here under the side. In addition to doing Kydex, uh, he was one of the first people to do um, these G10 ship, uh, G10 tipped Sharpies. Um, this is a Milwaukee one. Again, very uh, unobtrusive. Unfortunately, the market kind of flooded with these and they kind of became well known even in the mainstream. So they're not the most practical anymore in terms of uh, non-permissive environment carry, but they're still cool. And I still have a couple of them around. Uh, this is one that he did for me with this little uh, Kydex uh, holder to lash it onto a bag or something like that. Again, there's the G10 tip, very stabby. Um, Another little Kydex thing is these Bic lighter sheaths, just to keep them from actually accidentally getting um, actuated and to be able to lash onto something. Pretty cool again. I really like that red faux leather, I think he calls it like Raptor color. That's pretty neat. And then of course, stickers and patches galore. This one is, I don't know if you can see it on camera if I can cover it, but it glows in the dark. That's pretty cool. So lots of cool stickers, patches. But anyways, I'm going to put some of these out here just to give the background a little bit more flair. I finally got this mat here. But there we go. I'm a professional YouTuber now. Anyways, let's get into this. This is my new knife from Offensive Industries. It is made out of Nitro V and rubber scales with copper pins. Um, I was a little unsure about how I'd feel about the rubber scales, but they're not, um, they're not soft rubber like you think of on a lot of stuff. Uh, they're a very hard industrial rubber. Uh, Josh was telling me that they make um, industrial kitchen mats out of these, so they're very water, oil, blood, obviously resistant. Um, and what I love about this is just like I was talking about on my Sosby Cub video, um, the knife kind of works in every grip that you grab it in. So just like this one where you can kind of get a grip in any orientation, you can do the same thing with this. Um, very neutral handle, flared pommel, which I like. Um, this model in particular, some of the other ones I've seen have a little bit broader of a blade and the pommel kind of flares to one side um, to kind of favor the reverse grip uh, edge in. But this one is very neutral, and as you can see, the pommel flares evenly on both sides. The blade's also a little bit narrower, so I don't know if he plans on continuing to do this model this way, uh, but check out his Instagram page. I'll link it down below to see uh, a couple different models that he's come out recently. But he used to just do Kydex, and he was great at it, but he's been wanting to do his own knives, and now he is. Uh, this one is Nitro V, rubber handles, copper pins. Uh, blade is about three inches long. You got an overall at about seven and a half. Nice full grip. You can easily thumb cap that pommel. Works in all of your all of your grips. And this is a great blade shape, not just for people sticking, as I like to call it, uh, but for utility. And that's kind of what I plan to use this knife for in my carry is um, kind of replacing a EDC folder and having this this ride with my multi-tool. So this will kind of replace my EDC blade and my defensive blade. And we're gonna kind of see how it performs. The edge came insanely sharp. It's a mirror edge. Like I said, insanely sharp. Not the most thin behind the edge, but that's okay because you want this blade to be strong. Um, I'm not expecting this to be the most insane slicer but with that edge, which it does come down to a very thin edge here, um, I don't expect having any problems doing any of your normal EDC tasks with. But just, yeah, that is just a nasty blade. I'm very much looking forward to doing testing on this. 
I just got it in yesterday, so today is my first day of actually carrying it. And then I thought the the sheath that I picked out, the Kydex pattern that I picked out for this matched nicely. It's that topographic black with coyote um, lines. I thought the coyote matched the copper pins really nicely. But yeah, I absolutely love this knife. But let's talk more about the Kydex, because that's really what Offensive Industries is known for. Um, especially these ambidextrous deep carry sheaths, which is mostly what I have here. Um, here's one for the Cub. You saw that in the other video. Um, this one, I don't have the knife in it right now. It's um, uh, for my Milmac Blades CCW. I have it in a regular um, just fold over sheath on my chest rig. So that's why it's not in here right now, but if I want to, if I want to pocket carry that, I use this. Um, here's another Sosby. You saw this in the other video as well. This is the Shard. Um, this is a perfect candidate for this type of deep carry ambidextrous sheath. This makes it super slim line, easy to carry. This would be great to tuck into a, um, a chest rig or a plate carrier. Uh, it doesn't take up much space, but also just rides really nice and thin and slim in the pocket. Um, and then he's done some kind of a little bit more ridiculous things for me in terms of sheaths. One of them being this massive ambidextrous sheath for my CMFTW Tonto. If you guys are familiar with CM, uh, Matt Freeman, who's no longer with us, this was a custom that he made for me. Uh, when he was still with us that I absolutely love. It's an LMAX and micarta. Uh, this is just some uh, shrink tube that I put over the handle just to aid in um, grabbing this out of the sheath. Uh, this is an awesome knife too. But yeah, Josh was uh, kind enough to make me a custom sheath for this. Um, and this is awesome. I don't carry it as probably as much as I should uh, just because it's so big. But before, uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, Matt's work. His sheaths were kind of insane. He had a very specific way of how he liked to carry his knives. So they were really big sheaths and they kind of carried outside the waistband at an angle so you could reach back and grab them like this. Um, and they worked great for that. That just wasn't my preferred carry method for my lifestyle. So this works a lot better for me. I still have that sheath and everything. Uh, but yeah, this is a little more ridiculous of a, uh, of a setup that Josh did for me. Um, I'll put this off screen here just because it takes up so much room. And then another one, this is another custom one-off he did. This is another Sosby. This is the Runt. And again, it came with this, this kind of a simple uh, fold-over Kydex sheath like most Sosbys come with. And it worked, again, just fine. I carried it for uh, a year or two, um, just clipped to my a belt loop or in the, or in the pocket. with I, I had uh, a clip just like this, but on the old sheath. Uh, but this just makes it so much better. Um, again, ambidextrous, it goes in either direction. Good retention on it. It's That's another thing with these sheaths is the retention on all of them is just fantastic. No rattle, no play. Sits in there very secure, easy to access. And another thing, again, a common theme on my channel is discrete carry concepts clips. Um, these are the best clips in the game. If you're not using them on your knife sheaths and your holsters or your guns, you're incorrect. Um, and so the kind of the form and function of these deep carry sheaths, if you didn't see one of my other videos uh, on the Sosby, is these deep carry ones sit in a pocket just like you'd keep your folder, and then you just have the pommel of the knife sticking out of your pocket. So a lot of times people talk about pocket carrying fixed blades, and they're carrying them with this entire handle sticking up out of their pocket. And it's just kind of ridiculous. Um, but the problem that this solves is this sits deep down in your pocket. And it doesn't really show any more than a regular pocket clip on a folder would. And so it makes it really easy to EDC a fixed blade. Just come in here, grab it, bring it out. And again, because these are ambidextrous, you can draw... Uh, you can put them back in the sheath either direction, draw them either direction, reverse grip or standard grip. If you were coming into your pocket, you kind of just grab it with your pinky, pull out into a normal utilitarian like saber grip. So these, I, I really wish this type of sheath, I mean, especially Josh's, um, 
I wish these sheaths would become more mainstream because they're just the best way to carry any fixed blade. Like most of these here are more people stickers for me. Um, but this is just a great, great carry method just for your utility blades as well. Um, I'm actually thinking about having him make me some from some of my more utility based fixed blades just because it makes them so much easier to carry. Like, can you imagine if uh, your, your big production companies uh, had sheaths on their production knives that like these? Um, I think they would sell great. You see a lot of people trying to do like leather ones with these fold over magnetic straps and people throwing ulti clips on these giant circular kydex sheaths that are way bigger than they need to be to try to pocket carry. And I always put in the comments on Blade HQ, Knife Centered, uh, other review channels. I'm like, go check out Offensive Industries. They make the solution for pocket carry fixed blades. They're the best out there. Um, there's a, there are a couple other people that do them. Uh, blade rigs you can't really get anymore. Darwin Concealment you can't really get anymore. Uh, Tracker Dan, I'm not even going to talk about him. Um, Gypsy EDC is one that does them. I haven't had any of his newer ones, so I can't really speak to them. Um, but the ones that out of the ones that I have had, Offensive Industries is the best in the game. Um, and one of the things that I love about him, I mentioned that there's no rattle on any of these. He puts these uh, strips of Velcro on the inside, kind of like what Winkler does on their sheaths. So um, you have the retention of the sheath, but then there's absolutely no rattle or play in any direction in these sheaths. They are so solid. They don't make any noise. There's just nothing. And it makes the retention that much better. So they're easy to get out of the sheaths. And they're easy to resheath, but the retention is just super solid how he does those. I don't know if you can see that down in there. But yeah, these have become the gold standards for sheaths. And in a lot of ways, they've really ruined production fixed blades for me. Because I go out and I, I see a design I like. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I'd love to ca carry it out and then, uh, try it out. But then I go, hmm, this is a $40 budget fixed blade. And I know I'm not going to want to carry it unless it has an offensive industries deep sheath. And the sheath is probably going to cost me more than the knife itself. Um, so I've become kind of a snob about that. But it has saved me some money in the long run and cost me some money. But I just wanted to get bring you guys a video on these. Um, you should really check out Offensive Industries. Like I said, he's got a couple knife models out now um, that he does in drops. I think he puts them up on his website or he'll post them on his story. Uh, you just have to comment or... Uh, go on his website to grab them. Uh, he does have Kydex uh, on his website to order. The lead times are pretty high, so I just suggest DMing him and checking what his lead times are. Uh, he makes some holsters as well. Like, I know he makes uh, J-frame holsters, stuff like that. He makes uh, holsters for the little North American Arms revolvers uh, that everywhere else in the market, the holsters are kind of ass. Um, but his are actually really good. So, highly recommend checking out Offensive Industries. Hashtag violence is mandatory. Um, if you have any questions about these or any of the knives that you saw uh, or just about uh, the carry method or materials in general, leave them down in the comments section. I appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do the typical YouTube thing because I'd like to keep growing this channel. So I have motivation to keep putting videos out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.